yes 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 live update brothers and sisters you know i keep saying that this is the season for what was done in the dark to come out into the light and that is the whole point of this campaign and this protest yeah we may think that sometimes um, historic sexual abuse cases cannot get highlighted or they cannot get the spotlight that they need or they can't get the justice that they need. But you see, when you galvanise and you get victims to start talking, it has effect and it has, uh, it has an impact. It has consequences. So we have it on very, very extremely certified source. Yeah? Extremely certified source that earlier this week, Sir Lloyd was arrested for the historic sexual abuse of a, uh, a a child, of a boy. That's what we have it on. He was arrested for that uh, based on a witness statement. So that is a victory. That is a victory that we can announce. I can't say too much about it. What I can say, though, is that the victim, as far as I know, is uh, not connected to anybody that has given me information previously about Sir Lloyd. Um, so I would urge the victims, the victim, if it is them that have, has come forward or whoever has come forward in that case, to contact us if they need corroboration for some victims that, you know, needed that for themselves before they felt they needed, they, they could come forward. So that's what that is. And there's, there's many more to come, let me tell you, that I can't announce now. But what I can announce is that, um, and I can announce that it comes from an extremely certified source that's what i can say so yes my brothers and sisters it is the season we've seen r kelly get his just desserts this week um and and there's many more battles many more victories as well going on in closed circles behind closed doors with people that have found the you know that have been given the impetus and found the courage to be able to speak out in their own circles in their own spaces so yes my brothers and sisters there's been an arrest and it's independent of us, which I find very interesting because, you know, no one can say that we've influenced it or it's, you know, it's about people just coming out on this platform. It's somebody who's independently decided to find the courage after many years to uh, tell their story or somebody who was aware of what was going on at the time. You know, for somebody to be arrested, it must have been one of the two or, or something just e equally as... Uh, as um, strong and certified in terms of a witness statement so that is a victory um there is no smoke without fire um and as i say it was not connected to us so yeah there's many 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 more to come hashtag his time is up join the march join the movement be in windrush square on the 16th of october at 12 p.m gather beforehand so that we can start at 12 p.m and my brothers and sisters join tonight on insta sorry on youtube the Black Betterment, uh, Black Betterment, uh, what's it called? The Black Betterment, not network. I keep saying network. It's up, it's up on my last post anyway. Um, Black Betterment broadcast. That's it. Join that tonight because I want to talk more about what we, what I've just talked about, and I want to talk about as well the protection of women in our, in our community. It's um, for me, it's corroboration to what we're saying. Um, that move there and I would love for that victim to contact us so that we can talk about corroborating whatever they have said um, as I said or, or that person who has any kind of information to contact us as well but yes my brothers and sisters arrested earlier on this week blessed love